welcome back to my channel. We just had Juan Hobby Fest or Juan Hobby Gallery 2022, Ami Ami Hobby Camp 2022, and Mega Hobby Expo 2022. I wrote them down right over here. So I want to talk about that today um, with you guys because there are a bunch of figure announcements that I am so announcements and updates that I'm so excited about uh, and I just I had to hop on here and uh, talk about it with you guys I was going to make this into a dust and discuss but I'm gonna be honest I got really lazy so I'm I'm not I'm not doing that but you guys dust your figures I'm just like super excited right now so I'm just gonna get into it please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you're excited for um, from this event oh my god let's get into it okay so most of these are actually going to be nendroids that's just <laughs> that's kind of mostly what sparked my interest even though I hate nendroids with a passion but I mean they're good they're good announcements so I'm, I'm I gotta mm, I gotta mention them so since most of them are nendroid announcements uh, that I have on my list I'm gonna go ahead and um, talk about those first just to get them over with I don't have all the figures that were announced on this video in my list here but if you want to see all the figures that were announced that might not be in this video you can go get your updates from this Twitter page this is where I usually get all my updates for figures uh, either that or like for Nendroids I get them at good smiles social media page like on Instagram some of these I'm not and going to end up pre-ordering but I thought they were worth mentioning because I do like these characters uh, and I think it's super cool that you know they're getting figures or they got figure updates so I'm still going to mention them um, some of them I'm not sure if I'm going to end up ordering to be honest and then some of them I'm super sure I'm going to be ordering but who knows that also might change I tend to change my mind a lot after like a while so yeah uh, let's go ahead and start so I have my laptop right here so I can actually look at these figures while I'm talking to you about them okay first up this is a definite pre-order from me this was for sure a pre-order from me before the figure was even painted but right now we got an update on it and it's painted and it is of well it's two figures and they are of Reiki and Langa from Skate the Infinity. And oh my god, they are finally painted. They look so good, especially their skateboards. They're so well detailed. I am in love. And I'm not really surprised, honestly, that the paintwork is really good because this is by Orange Rogue. And Orange Rogue usually does a good job at their Nendroids. So I'm really thankful for that. But I mean, their colors are everything. Their colors are so accurate. The paintwork looks so smooth. I'm just so stunned by the skateboard of all things. I'm also really impressed with the hair uh, that they sculpted for both Reiki and Langa, but especially Reiki, because I know his hair is a little more intricate and a little more, you know, difficult I cannot wait to see what accessories they come with and what poses you can display them with I'm really hoping that you can have them displayed with them doing their uh, infinity handshake or infinity sign that would be really cool I'm hoping we'll eventually get scales of them together where you can put them together and um, they're like skateboarding or something or maybe they're like mid-air or whatever it would be so perfect anyways moving on I'm trying not to like stay on one topic for too long or one figure for too long because there's there's a ton to go through um, so here we go moving on next up is actually a Nendroid doll and it is of Hanako-kun from Toilet Bound Hanako-kun I don't collect Nendroid dolls I was considering before on getting the Dazai Nendroid doll a while back, but I'm just, it's just not my thing right now. I might change my mind in the future, to be honest. Like, I changed my mind on getting the Bungo Stray Dogs Nendroids. I used to say that they were super ugly to me, 
but then I bought them and I'm like, I'm in love with them. They're actually one of my favorite Nendroids that I own next to the Vanitas ones. So again, I might change my mind. I tend to do that a lot, but right now I'm just not, I just really want the regular Hanako Kun Nendroid and not the Nendroid doll, but I know this is a great alternative for people who couldn't get that one. Um, I know a lot of people are super excited about this one too, so I thought I would mention it either way. He looks, he honestly looks adorable, but like, just not for me. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Okay, we have, I'm not going to be ordering this one, but I did want to mention it. There is this Boku no Hero Academia Pox Nendroid. And he's not painted yet, but he actually looks really good. The only thing I kind of really wanted to mention on him is as good as he looks, he, I know for a fact he's going to be so hard to put together. There's just so much going on with the wings and the glasses. I, I just, I cannot imagine somebody buying this and not having a hard time either keeping him together or just putting him together in general. The wings I know is gonna be a problem. The glasses too. Like I have a Nendroid. Do I have two or do I have one? I have one Nendroid and it is this Hazuki Nendroid from Doremi and she has glasses and honestly, all of these Doremi Nendroids suck in terms of keeping them together, but her glasses specifically is such a pain in the ass to put on and keep keep it stayed on that like, I just, I cannot imagine this figure not giving anybody a hard time. I feel like Hawks or like Nendroids like Hawks are just better off as scales. Like you're way better off getting them as a scale or if you buy pop-up parades as a pop-up parade or if you buy, um price figures, keep them as price figures. Just wanted to point that out. Really awesome looking Android though. Can't wait to see it painted. <laughs> okay, so next up, I actually wanted to mention, not because I know who this character is, I know where he's from, I do plan on watching the anime. My best friend actually loves this anime uh, and I am planning on watching it eventually. I have just been, I haven't watched a new anime in, in quite a while so I really need to catch up to be honest but this is what's his name hold on Nagi Seishiro from Blue Lock and Blue Lock is a new sports anime that came out and I heard it's super good and I know a lot of people really love it and yeah I just kind of wanted to put it out there I did even though I haven't watched the series I already know who my favorite character is going to be I don't know his name, I forgot, but here's here's a photo of him. This this is this is who I'm 100 percent sure is going to be my favorite character in this series. I don't know what that says about me, but I'm sure it says something and I don't want to know. <laughs> but okay, so I just wanted to mention that there is another blue lock nendroid that I don't know if it's up for pre-order yet, but it is already painted. I will, I'll put a photo of that here so you know, but uh, we are getting more blue lock Nendroids. Uh, this next one I am also not going to pre-order, but I mentioned the other characters from this series and their Nendroids that were released. So I just thought I would mention this one here. And I know a lot of people love this character too from this series, but it is, um, Takashi Mitsuya from Tokyo Revengers, which I love Tokyo Revengers. I'm not as hyped about it as I was when it first came out, but I still do love the series. I'm still waiting for another season. I'm definitely gonna watch the next season when it comes out. Uh, he's just not one of my favorites, but I know he is other people's, so I thought I would mention him. I actually really like, see now I forgot their names. I like Mikey. But I also like, I forgot his name. <laughs> um, shit. Uh, um, I don't know. I'll put it right here, y'all. I, I don't know. So much for him being my favorite character, but okay. These next two, I was gonna end up pre-ordering actually when the announcement for, for them came out. There's an update for them, which is a non-painted prototype. And it is of the given characters, uh, Mafuyu and Uenoyama. And 
I'm gonna be honest, you guys. Maybe I just have to wait for it to be painted, but I think Ue no Yama looks fine. But Mafuyu, for some reason, looks a tiny bit off. He looks good, but he looks a tiny bit off, and I don't know if it might be because of his hair, like where his hair ends. Maybe I just haven't seen Mafuyu in a while. So let me, Mafu, Mafu. I'm like Googling him right now. <laughs> So I could compare it but just from like memory which I guess I should not be relying on um, I, I don't I don't think no I think he looks fine maybe I don't know I think it's like the side of his hair I think it needs to be more I don't know I don't know I really don't know maybe I it, it's either his hair something about his hair like a tiny detail or I just need to wait for him to be painted but Looking at it right now, I'm not too excited anymore. Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind, but right now, it, it's okay. I'm not. I'm honestly not gonna say that I'm not going to pre-order him because I actually really love these characters, but I'm just a, a tiny bit less excited than I was when it got announced. Um, okay, moving on. Let me. Ooh. Okay. So if you've watched my previous videos any of them really I think that talk about figure announcements and stuff like that uh, you know that I wasn't too excited on the Nendroid of Miyamura from Horimiya he just looked really bland to me he didn't really look I don't know if it was like he didn't look like Miyamura or it, it just didn't it didn't it didn't stick out to me honestly uh, but they finally painted the Hori Nendroid and I think she looks 100 times better than Miyamura. She looks stunning. I am actually in love with this hoodie figure. There's no preview of the accessories that she comes with or anything yet. Maybe by the time I finish editing this and uploading it, there will be, but this default pose as is, she looks stunning. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Maybe Miyamura will look so much better once she's posed next to him, but like, but if I'm not going to order Miyamura, then I'm not going to order Hori. Okay, so next up we have one, two, three, we have four Nendroids from the same series, and they're from Attack on Titan. One of them is just so random to me. I just, I, I saw it when it was announced, but it's just, it still, it still feels so random to me. So let, let me start with that. We have the Cart Titan Nendroid. I don't know why this was something that was made. Like, I feel like it would have made more sense if you just made one of Peak. Like, I get, I get making a Titan Nendroid of Eren, main character. I would have gotten even like making one of the Beast Titan. But like, Peak <laughs> is just so random to me. I don't know, they, they could have, it would have been better if they made her in her human form. I don't, it's just weird to me. We have next an unpainted prototype of our dear Sasha. I am hoping she comes with, I don't know if I'm going to pre-order her, but I am still hoping, at least for other people, and if I end up changing my mind, that she comes with her potato from season one, because these are uh, from season one, these Nendroids specifically, so. Um, she looks super cute so far. I have no complaints. She looks adorable. I love her. Uh, I can't really say much again until she is painted, but yeah, this having Sasha was a great idea. And with that, we have a painted prototype of Jean. He looks so funny to me. I think it's his eyes. Other than that, he looks great. I, I, I'm not, I have nothing to say. He just looks so funny, but I think that's just him in general in season one funny looking now his future seasons that's a whole different story but he, he he's a little funny here and then finally we have annie from season one of course because what other season is she really in she looks good i don't i don't really know i think it's just she looks off she looks good but off if that makes any sense but to be fair like we haven't seen her for like she's been stuck for a while in ice or whatever in a crystal 
there's that. I, again, I don't know if I'm gonna end up pre-ordering them. Moving on, this is an announcement. We don't really have a prototype yet, but I love this series, but the other Nendroids of these characters from the series sucked. So I'm not really excited about these, about this announcement, but I thought it was worth mentioning because I know some people ordered the Nendroids of the other characters and it is Damien from Spy Family. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool that they were gonna make one of him. Yeah, so it makes me wonder if they're gonna end up making Becky eventually. I'm pretty sure they are, but um, we got Damien first. Okay, next up we have exciting news. I mean, those ones were pretty exciting too, but uh, we have more Chainsaw Man Nendroids coming out. We got three announcements. I already have the Denji and Power Nendroids. Those came out a while ago, and I'm so glad that I have them. They are so cute, and I love them so much. But we now got painted prototypes of Aki. Uh, we have one of Makima, and then we have one of my love, Kobeni. And I know a lot of people think she's annoying, but she is so freaking cute. Uh, I haven't watched the anime yet, so maybe she's more annoying there than she is in the manga. But when I read the manga, I absolutely fell in love with her. She is a gem. I love her so much. And I've seen like her outfits in the anime with her little hat. She's so freaking cute. I, I definitely want to pre-order her. I am planning on pre-ordering Aki as well for right now because I do have Denji and Power and I want the trio together. Uh, Makima, however, look, she she's cute and everything. And I love her style. I think she's beautiful. Uh, but I do hate her guts. Uh, also, her Nendra right here looks kind of meh to me. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's because I hate her that much. She looks kind of bland. I, I don't know. I feel like all the Makima figures that have been announced have been so bland. But moving on. Oh, oh my god. I would love to have one of the Angel Devil. Put them next to Aki. Perfect. Okay, next up. Okay, y'all, this feels so surreal to me. I saw this and I like, I started crying, y'all. This was not something I was expecting. Okay, we have two Nendroids from Bungo Stray Dogs that were announced. We have Ango Sakaguchi and then we have Orasaku. And oh my goodness this was so like unexpected and i saw people also commenting like they were super excited about it which they they should be because those two y'all but they were so surprised because they're like how do these two get nendroids before rampo or kunikida which i'm kind of confused about too but i'm pretty sure i'm like 80 percent. i'm like 90 no let's go back to 80. i'm like 80 percent sure that we're gonna get the rest of the ADA members like Rampo or Kunikida, maybe even Yosano, but mostly Rampo, I'm pretty sure, once season four hits because he gets so much more screen time. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we'll get Rampo eventually. I'm just so like I'm ah, like I cannot believe this, and he looks he looks so good is they're they both look so good their prototypes aren't painted yet but i'm so glad that we have a prototype to look at and just not like an announcement photo i mean this season four announcement has given us so much bungo stray dogs figures and merch and i cannot wait to display ango and odasaku next to my port mafia dazai i am hoping to god that those two come with their uh, whiskey glasses or like Orasaku comes with his whiskey and then um, Ango can either come with his whiskey or the tomato juice that he was drinking because he was driving. What a responsible man. Um, <laughs> and I know Ango comes with his glasses and that's probably gonna be a pain in the ass to put together. But for, for this trio to be together again, I will do anything. Okay, so before I like lose my shit even more, let's move on. 
Uh, so we're done with the Nendroid announcements. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about these two. Spoiler warning, they're also from Boongo Stray Dogs. I'm not ordering these. I don't, I don't think I am. But there are these, I have, I've seen these around. They're not necessarily, I don't know if you would call them figures. Maybe they're like, they're closer to dolls, I believe. There are these Dazai and Chuya Harmonia Humming dolls by Orange Rogue. They have joints, so they're kind of like Nendroid dolls, but they're not. I'll put a photo example of one over here. They're cute, but they're also creepy. There's a Miku one. She's kind of cute. No, they're kind of cute, but I don't know how, I feel like, I feel like they'll be so weird on Dazai and Chuya. Like I can't imagine, I cannot imagine Dazai and Chuya in this form. I know it's gonna throw me off so bad, but um, there are those. I'm actually really curious how those are gonna turn out. I don't think I'm gonna end up pre-ordering them, but maybe I will just because, just because. But moving on, uh, now let's do scale figures. And we have another scale figure announcement for Spy Family and it's by Kotobukiya. I'm still waiting for a good scale figure of Lloyd, Yor, and Anya together. There is this one by Kotobukiya. It's just of Anya riding Bond. It looks really good, but I don't like Anya's face. I don't like, I, I don't know. I think the best figure of Anya out there to be honest, is that one Ichiban Kuji figure that everybody is looking for. It's got the little um, block, calendar block. I think that is the best one out there of Anya. The price for it is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. She, it, it doesn't look horrible, but I just personally do not like the expression she's making. Next up, we have, we have more Chainsaw Man by Art FX of Makima, Power, and Denji. Uh, Denji already has a prototype out and it's already painted. They are 1 7 scales, which is kind of nice. Or, oh, Denji is a 1 8. What the hell? Oh, they're actually 1 8 scales. Okay. Honestly, I don't really like Denji's because I personally do not like having a figure of him, or I don't want a figure of him with his chainsaw head on. I understand that is the plot of who he is but i like i like seeing his adorable face so there's that uh there is an announcement for power and makima as well uh there's only like the silhouette of them there's no prototype but power looks a little promising to be honest i kind of like the pose that she's got kind of worried by the way she's posed just because i'm hoping there's not too much weight going on on one side of the figure where she can lean um th maybe they'll be supporting pegs enough supporting pegs where that won't be an issue but there is also makima i don't know what she's leaning on to be honest i don't know yeah i'm not even gonna try to guess but there's makima she's always in this basic pose i'm not sure what pose i want her in to be honest but every makima figure i see she's she has the most basic pose ever so eh. Maybe I just really don't like her. <laughs> All right, and then we have another My Dress Up Darling figure by Alter, and I love Alter figures. I have a lot of hope in this one. I don't really know if I'm gonna end up pre-ordering it just because if I want a figure of Modding, the first Modding figure I would want is one of her not cosplaying, but I really do love this cosplay of hers. So I have it on my wish list right now. Next up, we have another Bungo Stray Dogs scale figure coming out. On the My Figure Collection page, it doesn't say the size, but on the actual image of the unpainted prototype, there is a little tag next to each of them, and it says that they're 1 7 scales. Now, okay. When I saw it, I was so hyped. I was like so excited. I couldn't believe it, especially because it was. It was a figure of Chuya and Dazai, and they're meant to be together. They're meant to be put together. Um, I just don't like that you have to buy them separately and then put them together. But anyways, that's a, that's a, that's a different issue. Uh, it's by Fnex, but after my excitement kind of like died down a little, you know, I had to get it out of my system first. I was kind of confused. I was like, what is going on here? 
I see Dazai holding a book and walking away and then I see Chuya and I just don't I don't understand what's going on here. Man looks like he's falling off the stairs. I was asking on the figure collection page, does anybody know where the source art for this is? And somebody did tell me and I went to go look at it and what the actual fuck. I'm sorry, but of all the source art, of all the art out there that they could have used to make these characters into figures, they chose one of the ugliest photos out there. And there are, there are quite a few ugly pictures of these guys, of the official art of these guys from Studio Bones. But like, I just, I don't, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. So they basically took these two characters with a white background that like has no context in what they're doing in this photo and they they put they decided to create the context and the context that they made was stairs behind them and 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 chuya looks like he's falling off the stairs but you're gonna have him smiling in this photo so i'm just i'm just a little confused at mm, all right i mean and god like what whatever they're wearing needs to be burned am i still gonna order it i don't know guilty but um yeah just i'm, I'm gonna wait for the painted prototype because uh, uh yeah i don't know uh. anyways okay that is all i have on my list right now but i do have like a few honorable mentions uh, there is, there are like some, quite a few Evangelion figures, which I was going to put on here, but I'm like, there are just, there's always going to be an Evangelion figure, especially of Rey. So there are some of those if you want to go check it out on the Twitter page. Of course, there are other ones I haven't mentioned. There's also, there are these really cute Persona, is it Persona or Persona figures? I don't know anything about that series it's also a game i believe but i really wanted to get into it and start watching the anime but i know nothing about it i know i don't know if there's like an order to watch it in or whatever i gotta like look that up and everything so that is all i have on my list along with those little few honorable mentions or a couple honorable mentions uh so again let me know what you think what are you excited about please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know what uh you're excited for and i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys